This is page two of the notes. At the bottom, you'll notice that there's these questions. We're going to be focusing on just the one-step metric conversions. And for that, what we need to look at are the ones that go to liters, meters, or grams, or come from liters, meters, or grams. So we're not going to do the ones that have another part to their name. We'll do those on the next page. So that is just A and D. We'll start with A. So in this question, we're going to convert 750 deciliters into liters. So the piece that we know already is the 750 deciliters. So that's what we'll start with. We're going to turn that into a fraction by writing it over the number 1. And now we want to find out what we're going to do a conversion to and a conversion from. So at this point, we have deciliters. We're going to convert that to liters. So we're going to put the deciliters on the bottom because it cancels with the deciliters that's currently on the top, the 750 deciliters. When we do that conversion, we're going to put liters on top of the deciliter. Now, we need to figure out what we're going to do with that multiplier. So one way to remember how the multipliers work is to remember that the prefix actually has a meaning. So the word kilo means a thousand thousand times bigger than the base. So we know that those multipliers are going to be stuck with the base unit, the meter, the liter, or the gram. And the other one, the one with the prefix, is going to get the one. So in the case of kilo, we would say that one kilometer is equal to 10 to the third meters. Well, we're just replacing the word kilo with 10 to the third. Now in the problem that we're looking at, we have deciliters and liters. So again, we're going to write one deciliter is equal to 10 to the minus one liters. So we have deciliters on the bottom because it lined up. We wanted to make sure that those canceled out and we're left with liters on the top. What goes with the deci is the one because all of the prefixes get a one. The multiplier goes with the base unit, so that gets the 10 to the negative 1 will be with the liters. So on your calculator, you'll put 750 divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 1 divided by 1, which should give you the answer of 75, and the units will now be liters, so 75.0L. So please make sure you know how your calculator works, especially with the exponent part. There are different variations of how it is written on calculators. Let's start with letter D. Here we're going from millimeters to meters. We know this is a one-step metric conversion because we're going to one of the base units, in this case, meters. So I'm going to focus on just D here. So first, I'm going to write our conversion using milli and meters. Looking at our chart on the right, we're going to see that milli means 10 to the negative third, and so we can write one millimeter equals 10 to the minus three meters. We can turn that into a conversion factor as needed. And back to the specific question. So in our question, it tells us that we have 425 millimeters. So we're gonna put start with that, and we're gonna put the 425 mm on the top of a fraction. We'll put 425 mm divided by one. Now you need to determine what goes on the bottom. So are we going to put meters or millimeters on the bottom? Yep, we're going to put millimeters. So we put millimeters on the bottom and meters on top. And now we just got to figure out where the numbers go. So remember, with the main unit, we're going to have the exponent. And if we look at our equation over here, we see that one millimeter is equal to 10 to the negative 3 meters. So we're going to write the 1 with the millimeter, the 10 to the negative 3 with the meters. And now in our calculator, we're going to put 425 on the top, divide that by 1, multiply that by 10 to the negative 3. We're going to use that exponent key, so it might be 1 e e negative 3, or it might be 1 exponent negative 3. And then we're going to divide all that by 1. And the answer you'll see is 425 times 10 to the negative 3 with the units of meter. But that's not correct scientific notation, so we're going to go from 425 times 10 to the negative 3. 
We're going to look at that decimal place being at the end of the 5. We're going to move it back 1, 2, so that our answer is 4.25 times 10 to the negative 1 meters. I'm going to try a couple of additional questions that are not in your lecture notes. I recommend that you pause the video as you're trying these. Try them yourself and see if you get them right. Okay, let's start with letter A. Go ahead and pause your video. Okay, so we're going to start with what we know, which is that we have 78.96 grams of whatever the substance is, and we're going to convert that over to centigrams. So those are our two parts that we need to know, and we're going to go ahead and write our ratio on the side. Here we see that one centigram is equal to 10 to the negative 2 grams. So we write that up here. We'll start our question with what we know, which is the 78.96 gram. We'll write that over 1. And then we're going to decide what way we want our fraction to be. Since we have grams on the top, we should have grams on the bottom in our fraction on the next part. And that means centigrams will be on top. So here we see that the grams cancels out, and we're left with centigrams as our answer. Now we have to figure out what to do with those exponents. And you should see that the centi already has its prefix, which is the letter C. That means that the exponent should go with the one that says grams, and that'll be 10 to the negative 2, with the 1 on top, of course. And now on your calculator, you're going to type in 78.96 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 10 to the negative 2. And that gives us the answer of 7,896, and the units are going to be centigrams. In scientific notation, that will be 7.896 times 10 to the third centigrams. Now you can try letter B. Go ahead and pause your video. We'll start with what we know. And what we want to know. And we'll find our conversion. Here we see that we're looking at kiloliters and the multipliers 10 to the 3. So we get this ratio of 1 kiloliter is equal to 10 to the third liters. Start writing your answers by writing in the thing that we know, 956 liters, and write that over 1. Then we write in that second fraction, and we look to see what units need to go on the bottom in our next step. So since we see liters on top at the first, that means we're going to have liters on the bottom for part two and kiloliters on the top, which is perfect because that's what we're aiming for. So now we just have to figure out where to put the exponents. And we see that the one is with the kilo and the 10 to the third is with the liters. So that's what we write. Here we can see that our liters units cancel out and that we're left with our answer in kiloliters. And we're going to put it into our calculator. We'll have 956 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 10 to the power of 3. And that gives us our answer of 0 0.956 kiloliters. And in scientific notation, that will be 9.56 times 10 to the negative 1 kiloliters. Go ahead and work on part C and put your video on pause. Okay, so let's start with what we know. We're going to have the 0 0.0754 kilograms. And what we're looking for is in grams. We'll start by writing what we know. We're going to write down the 0 0.0754 kilograms. I'm going to write that over 1 to make it into a fraction. I'm going to look at our ratio. The ratio is the same one as we had before. 1 kilogram now is equal to 10 to the third grams. We're going to write our second fraction next to it. We see that we have kilograms on the top to start with, which means we're going to have kilograms on the bottom and grams on top. And here we see for the numbers that the 1 stays with the kilo and the 10 to the third exponent goes with the grams. We see that the kilograms units cancel out, leaving us with our answer in grams, which is what we were looking for. 
And now we're going to put it into our calculator. We're going to have 0 0.0754 divided by 1 times 10 to the third divided by 1. And that will give us the answer of 75.4 grams. And in scientific notation, correct scientific notation, that'll be 7.54 times 10 to the first grams.